Welcome back, everybody. One of the employers that kept Sherman Park bustling for years was A.O. Smith. That business is long gone with acres of empty land, a reminder of what was lost. But a new business development site on that land could help put people back to work. Ricky Mitchell joins us live now from Century City to tell us how. I well, Steve, it's hard to miss this brand new sign behind me along Capitol Drive. Now, the name itself, Century City, represents what could become in this park in the future, but still holding true to the area's past that began more than 100 years ago. What once served as A.O. Smith and Tower Automotive's bustling headquarters now sits empty and boarded up. These buildings were part of a massive 150-acre site that in its heyday employed about 10,000 people. But eventually, the company went bankrupt, abandoning the area and taking all of those jobs with it. It was so gradual is so that we really didn't feel the impact of it until it was done. Yvonne McCaskill has lived in this neighborhood 43 years, and she says when people started losing their jobs, they left. We know what this community was like when there were jobs in the neighborhood. We can do that again. It was the only manufacturing building on the site that we felt could be saved. Rocky Marku is the commissioner of city development for Milwaukee. In 2009, the city purchased the 150-acre property with big plans in mind. And we're going to leverage what had most people looked at as abandoned property that could never be brought back to life. We're going to leverage it into the biggest single successful piece of rebuilding a jobs uh, corridor along the 30th Street rail line. The city spent $37 million cleaning up the site, demolishing buildings, and preparing the area for new business. So what we have here is 50,000 square feet of brand new Class A manufacturing space. The city even built a new building to usher in a new era of manufacturing jobs. As we continue to market this, uh, and we get companies that will move in here, then we'll begin another building next to it. Still in the business park, an existing building currently being used by Benson Industries. They are hiring residents from the neighborhood to be trained. They're being trained as glazers. He says several companies are interested in moving to the park, including one that could bring upwards of 1,000 jobs. And that, Yvonne says, will not only be another asset to her neighborhood, but it could impact all of Milwaukee. This is about a city coming together to look at and impact what's happening in our central city neighborhoods. Now, the company we mentioned that would bring those thousand jobs to this area is called Rev Group. Their plans all depend on a $6 billion government contract. If they win that contract, the company has said that it would build a new plant here at Century City Park. And if that happens, they said they are committed to hiring people from the surrounding area. Reporting live from Century City, Ricky Mitchell for the Now Milwaukee. Ricky, thank you very much. For decades, Sherman.